Now we're going to go to the ongoing war of words between the comic and the politician. Could David Letterman lose his late night gig because of his digs at Alaska Governor Sarah Palin? Well, at least one lawmaker says he should. New York State Assemblyman Gary Finch has sent a letter to the president of CBS, Les Moonves, calling on the network to cut Letterman loose. It's all over the comedian's jabs at Governor Palin, including a joke that her 14-year-old daughter got knocked up by Yankee player Alex Rodriguez. The letter from Assemblyman Fitch reads in part, quote, these comments and Mr. Letterman continued degrading comments about women during the explanation of his remarks was appalling. Jason Bellini has been following this feud as a contributor for the DailyBeast.com. Jason, good morning. Good morning, Alex. Do you think Governor Palin, first off, has found an issue that she can latch on to here? Is she just going to look like she can't take a joke? Because we're talking about the comedian David Letterman. It's important to keep those three things together. Comedian David Letterman. Well, I think only with the Palin's would they take what is a tasteless joke, and David Letterman admits that, and make it about statutory rape. So it's gotten a, a bit ridiculous. I think that David Letterman has done a really good job of convincing people of the obvious, and that is that he was talking about Bristol, who's 18. He wasn't talking about Willow, who's 14. And that's the most important point here. And he, you know, again, he said this was not a very, it was not a tasteless joke, but this is what we do in late night comedy and that never in a thousand years would he talk about a 14 year old that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, your colleague at the Daily Beast, Margaret Carlson, writes that Sarah Palin cannot outsmart David Letterman, writing, quote, Palin appears to be squandering her leftover fame from the campaign on staying famous, settling scores, making headlines over petty concerns, securing the cover of People magazine for Bristol. She could have been the keynoter at a Republican's biggest fundraiser of the year on Monday night, but instead played a coy, will Will she or won't she game for weeks? Why do you think Governor Palin is choosing to latch onto this feud rather than getting out there on a bigger Republican platform, something she could have done at that big dinner earlier this week? Well, it seems that she's most comfortable in this mode, in the attack dog mode. We also have a, a piece on the Daily Beast by Benji Sarlin that just shows how she has a record of doing this, attacking her critics in such a fierce way, always going for the jugular. That's what they do. And I think that she really does need to concentrate more on working on what she's going to say about the big issues of the day if she's going to be a leader in the Republican Party. Right now, well, you've got 38 percent. Go ahead. No, no, I was going to say, can't she reach some people, though, by staying with this issue? Uh, well, I think the people who are already on board with her, and perhaps this is helpful to her in raising money for the GOP, and that's much of what she's doing right now. That's what she was doing on this East Coast swing, is going to fundraisers, trying to help other candidates by going to the base. But I think if she hopes to have a national platform going forward, that's not the way to do it, by picking a fight with David Letterman and to use such extreme language. And that's what she's doing here and making you know her own joke about how she would never bring Willow onto the set of, mm, the, yeah. of um, you know, the show because she wouldn't want her next to David Letterman. Come on. Okay. All right, quickly, how do you see this thing playing out? Well, I, you know, I don't think David Letterman is going to address this any further, and I think that the idea that he'll lose his job over this is ridiculous. I, I think in the end it could really backfire on Sarah Palin because it just builds on this record that she has of always going to the extreme and going for the ridiculous when she's, oh. going, when she's attacking her critics. Jason Bellini from DailyBeast.com. Thanks, Jason. You bet, Alex. In a moment, it was a daring leap of faith, but does